Well then, you're precious to Jesus. Have this a read. He died for you. He rose again. He's coming back. There's no one like Jesus. Just give him your heart. Just cast all your burdens and your cares on him. And he's going to really help you in your life. Okay? May you be blessed. You're welcome. Take care. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Glory to God. Praise you, Jesus. Have a nice day, young man. There's a lovely reminder for you. Jesus loves you. Have a read of it. You'll be very blessed. God bless. God bless. God bless you. How are you today? Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you, young lady. You're welcome. You're welcome. Beautiful young ladies. No, thanks. Okay. God bless you, young man. You have a nice day. God bless. You know what it's about? It's about our wonderful Savior, Jesus, who died and rose again, and he's coming back. And all he wants is your heart. When we die, there's another life waiting for us. Death is not the end. Hallelujah. Eternity is forever, and your spirit will live for eternity. That's why we've got to put our faith and trust in Jesus, who is the Savior of the world, because he died for us and he rose again. And if we reject him and ignore him in this life, we can never, ever enter his presence in heaven. And that means the lake of fire for eternity. Many people have had near-death experiences and went straight to hell. And they were atheists. They didn't believe in that place. But God had so much mercy that he took them to that place and they came back and they just completely converted. Everything in the Bible is true. Even though they never read the Bible, they understood things that when they started to read the Bible after their near-death experience, they realized, oh my gosh, it's in the Bible. Why was I not reading the Bible? But see, the devil wants to keep people away from the Word of God, away from the Bible, because Satan doesn't want people to know the truth. Satan doesn't want people to know that Jesus is our Lord and Savior and that he died and rose again for us. He wants to keep us so engrossed in this world. He wants us to keep us so busy with sports and media and entertainment and all those things and you know but Jesus says my son my daughter I love you I died for you give me your heart talk to me I want a relationship with you and this is the beautiful thing about Jesus is it's not about following a religion it's a relationship there's many religions in the world but when people follow religion they're just following a set of man-made rules but Jesus says no I want your heart I don't want to give you a set of rules to say you must do all these things because let's admit no human being can follow all those rules we're not under law we're under grace and that's why the bible says for everyone who calls on the name of the lord jesus they shall not perish but they shall receive the free gift of everlasting eternal life it's a free gift and he commanded his followers to go out and spread the good news everywhere so it's my job as a christian to not keep this wonderful savior to myself but to go on the trains and the highways and the byways and to share Jesus with anyone and everyone. As the Bible says, how can they believe unless a preacher is sent? Have you ever called on the name of Jesus? Have you ever said, Lord, forgive me of my sins, come in my heart? Have you ever done that? He's knocking on the door of your heart today and saying, Son, that's how simple it is. Invite me in and I will come in and have supper with you and I'll never leave you or forsake you. He didn't create you to do life on your own, brother. He wants to do life with you. You know what? He's the best friend you can ever have. He's the healer. He's the deliverer. He's the restorer. There's no one like Jesus. He's knocking. He's knocking. He's knocking. Two seconds. You want him in? You want him in? Okay, say, Dear Jesus, please forgive me of all of my sins. Come into my heart and fill me with your Holy Spirit. Please give me my own personal revelation. Of who you are, and, uh, of who you are, Jesus, <laughs> and what you did for me by dying on the cross. I love you, Jesus, and say, so fill me right now with your Holy Spirit. Okay, you're gonna feel something amazing happening in your heart because Jesus is showing you He's real. Lord, I pray for your son right now. Touch his heart. I break every chain over his life right now in Jesus' name. I break every generational curse right now in Jesus' name. I cancel every plan of the devil over his life today in Jesus' name. Every witchcraft curse, Lord, every negative curse word spoken over him. I cancel it today. I cut it off today in Jesus' name. For whom the sun sets free is free indeed. I pray freedom over your son today. Open the windows of heaven and pour out your blessing and your grace on your son today. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Just focus on your heart area. Close your eyes. The Lord's going to touch your heart. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 
For you are the God that makes all things new. I pray for freedom. I pray freedom, freedom in Jesus' name. Let your holy fire burn out everything that is not of you in Jesus' name. Heal your son, deliver your son, restore your son, bless your son. Hallelujah. Jesus, even we know we live in a generation that many will reject you, but many will accept you. And this young man has a humble heart to let go of his pride, to acknowledge you as Lord and Savior. Lord, bless him. Feel him right now. More, more. Kura shasalamandere shikira sunday. More of your presence. More of your grace. More of your fire. Glory. Is that crazy? It's Jesus. Isn't it awesome? It's Jesus, brother. Jesus has the power to do that. He's come in today. Angels are rejoicing in heaven right now because you said yes to Jesus. Hallelujah. The Bible says that God and the angels rejoice over one sinner who repents and comes home. You've made the right decision. Many people will reject Jesus, but many will accept. I want to encourage you, what you need to do now is you need to read the Word of God, have your relationship with Jesus. What does that mean? Talk to Him every day. Prayer is just talking to God in your own language, in your own way. Hallelujah. He loves you so much. He bears the scars in His nails and in His feet and in His side. And the crown of thorns that was put on him, the scars from that, he's the saviour who died for the sins of the world. And this, this world is on its way to the lake of fire. Jesus said, many are called, but few are chosen. Many are called, but few are chosen. He's given everyone an opportunity. And while some may come to him, not everyone will take him serious. There's only going to be very few that, that end up even making it to heaven. Because people closing. love their sin. They love the world. Hallelujah. They love the entertainment. They put Jesus on the back when they, oh, they turn their noses up when you talk about Jesus. They can't stand the name of Jesus. But they don't realize he's going to be the judge. He's going to be their judge. See, Jesus will be the judge of all mankind on that day. But rejoice because, you know what? I always say to people, face him. Choose him as your uh, choose him as your saviour or otherwise one day face him as your judge many people are going to face him as judge isn't that sad many people are going to face him as judge because they rejected him so I want to encourage you read the bible pray to him and just you know what you made the right decision by accepting Jesus today what's your name Daniel Daniel oh what a name Daniel in the lion's den have you heard of that story amen May you be blessed, my brother, and keep looking up because Jesus loves you. He's the only Savior and the only way. All right? Thank you. God bless you. Have a nice day. You too. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. God bless you. Jesus loves you, darling. Take care. You're welcome, love. You're welcome. Young man, have a nice day. God bless you. Thank you. God bless you, young lady. Jesus loves you. Okay. God bless you. How are you today? God bless you, young man. Jesus loves you. You don't want to receive the free gift? All he wants is your heart. He died to set you free, and he wants your heart. Young man, Jesus loves you. I'm not a gay. Pardon? Jesus loves me. Do I look like a gay to you? Gay? Fuck off. Oh, wow. Well. For God so loved the world, he sent his one and only son, that everyone who shall call on the name of Jesus shall not perish or shall receive everlasting eternal life. We're living in a time where people are offended of the name of Jesus. Jesus is the Savior. I bind every demon using you. I bind you in Jesus' name. I rebuke you in Jesus' name. I rebuke you in Jesus' name. I rebuke you, I bind you, and I silence you in Jesus' name. You need to repent. Repent of your sins. Repent. Repent of your sins. Repent of your sins. I bind you in Jesus' name. You'll stand before your judge on the day of judgment, friends. And I want to encourage everyone hearing this message. We're living in a generation of people who are offended of the name of Jesus. The very same God who died and rose again for your sins and my sins. People use his name, Jesus, as a cuss word. Do you use his name as a cuss word? Or have you called upon the precious name of Jesus, friends? Everyone who calls on the name of Jesus will be saved. 
for he is the only Savior of the world. And Jesus loves you so much that he's not willing that anyone should perish. And it's time to choose where you're going to spend your eternity. Hallelujah. Many people will spend their eternity in the lake of fire. Because that's what they've chosen. But God has commanded his children to go and preach the truth of his word today. Everything okay? Yeah, I'm just preaching the word of God. Can you, uh, does everyone appreciate no. this? No. So I don't think everyone wants okay, to hear that. No worries, no worries. I'm happy to call station security. No, if you okay. continue, we'll have you removed from the train. No worries. Have a nice day. Can I give you a gift? No. Jesus loves you. No, thank you. I want to call you. Call in his name because he died for you. I have think a nice day. report it anyway. Well, yeah, re yeah, report it. It's okay. Report. God bless you. Well, apologies for that. I'll report it to security and we'll have something done about that. God bless you. Jesus loves you. Praise God. So this is the time we're living in. The people are offended because we preach Jesus. Hallelujah. It just means on the day of judgment, no one's going to be without excuse. Hallelujah. No one's going to be without excuse on the day of judgment. God bless you all. Jesus loves you all so much. Would you like a gift? You don't want Jesus? You want to spend your eternity in the lake of fire as well? Sorry, no. Too loud. Too loud? Honey, hell is a lot louder and a lot hotter too. Repent, sister, repent. God bless you. Jesus loves you, beautiful young lady. There's a gift for you. God bless, God bless. But that's the time we're living in, my friends. That people are offended at the name of Jesus. But nothing will stop us, right? He's called us for such a time as this. To preach his word in season and out of season. And we have to obey God and not man. Hallelujah. So, <laughs> you know, praise God when we are persecuted for carrying his name. Um, so the station guy just came. Someone reported me because I was preaching the word of God on the train. And, um, and the, um, the, yeah, he's gone to report it to security. <laughs> The devil is a liar. Lord, I just bind every demon today in Jesus' name. We obey you, Lord. We do not obey man, but we obey you. Hallelujah. And we cancel every lie of the devil in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Okay, he was supposed to be going to get security, but I guess the Lord protected me. <laughs> I want to encourage you, brothers and sisters. Do not be afraid of the persecution. All right, when someone rises up at you, remember it's demons. It's demons rising up. Demons are using them, those people, as, as vessels. Right, Satan is using people as vessels, okay, to do his bidding. You're either led by the Holy Spirit or you're either led by an evil spirit. You're either following Jesus or you're either following the devil. There's no in-between. And I want to encourage you all today to make Jesus your Lord and your Savior and to actually do what he told us to do. Hallelujah. To rise up and, and be his voice and, and sound the shofar in this last day that we are living in. Hallelujah. Time is super, super short, brothers and sisters. And you know, God has not given us a spirit of fear. The enemy tries to make Christians so scared and worried and fearful. And I don't know how many Christians I, I speak to every day that, that they say, oh, you know, I, I don't want to go and preach because, you know, I, if they call the police or, you know, as far as I know, you have to get approval and the council won't approve it. No, you don't have to get approval. I don't get approval to do ministry every day. I've never once gone to the police or the council to ask for approval from man to do the will of God. Jesus said that all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to him. And he commanded us, now go out and preach. Where in his word did he say, but before you preach, go and seek approval from the council and from the police. See, people twist the word of God. And then people say, oh, but you have to obey the laws of the land. Yeah, but you have to obey God, not man. <laughs> oh, Lord, I just give you all the glory and the honor and the praise. And I just bless your holy name, Jesus. You are the King of kings and the Lord of lords. And I praise you and I honor you and I love you and I glorify you, Jesus. And, and I just thank you so much, Lord, for what you're doing in this last day that we're living in. Thank you for using us as your vessels, Father, to carry your word. 
many people, you said in your word, Lord, that many would be offended in the last days. And we're seeing that today, Father God, Lord Jesus. We're seeing many rise up and taking offense, hallelujah, and rejecting your people and, and just being horrible and nasty and <laughs> downright cruel. But Jesus, it's a reminder, Lord Jesus, what you did for us by suffering on the cross of Calvary. You suffered for us first, Father God, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. And I thank you, Father God, Lord Jesus, that even in our suffering, as we suffer, Father God, greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. And if God be for us, then who can be against us? I pray for a spirit of boldness over my brothers and sisters, Lord, in this last day we're living in. Pour out your Holy Spirit upon everyone. Hallelujah. Pour out a fresh anointing today, Lord, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I just pray, Father God, for a spirit of bravery, Lord. Hallelujah. Inject your people with courage to rise up, Father God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To rise up and to be your voice, Father God. To show that wicked devil that he has no authority, but rather the children of God have all authority. Hallelujah, to preach your word in season and out of season. Hallelujah. We walk by faith and not by sight. We walk by faith and not by sight. Glory to God. Hallelujah. See, the day is coming when every, every person who rejected Jesus, they're going to stand before him on that day and they're going to have to give an account. And the Lord is going to bring to bring to their remembrance every evangelist that he put in their path. He's going to bring it to their remembrance. Everyone you ever spoke to, everyone you ever encouraged, everyone you ever tried to give a track to, but they, re they rejected it. He's, he's going to bring it to their remembrance. And on that day, no one will be able to run from Jesus. So I want to encourage you all. Hallelujah. Draw nearer to him than ever before, but most importantly, take up your cross and do his will. Do what he's called you to do, because he is the only saviour. He loves you all so much, and I love you too, family. Lifting you up in prayer today. Have a blessed day in Jesus. Bye-bye now.